in two different experiments an object of mass 5 kg moving with a speed of 25 meter per second hits two different walls and comes to rest within okay um, so first is within 3 seconds second is within 5 seconds choose the correct option of following impulse and average force strike will be uh, will be the same we will say both cases impulse will be same but average force will be different average force will be same okay so uh, first we'll try to visualize this and then try to understand what the concept is so so we have two cases here case 1 and case 2 case 1 is 5 kg mass case 2 is also 5 kg mass same velocity right speed of 25 meter per second 25 meter per second 25 meter per second hitting wall 1 hitting wall 2 okay first let us think um uh, let us first think to i mean let, let us first try to uh, to solve the impulse part see we know that by impulse momentum theorem right by by impulse momentum theorem by impulse by impulse momentum theorem what is impulse is equal to impulse is equal to change into momentum which is otherwise equal to the force average into the change in time so impulse is change in momentum which is also equal to f average into delta t now what is change in momentum change in momentum is mass into change in velocity which is final velocity minus initial velocity now according to the question it comes to rest when it comes to rest therefore the final velocity should be equal to zero which means the object actually when it comes here it comes to rest so the final velocity is equal to zero the object comes here it comes to rest final velocity equal to zero and in both cases the initial velocity is the initial velocity is 25 meter per second so let us call the second case impulse as delta p1 so what is delta p1 delta um, uh, uh, change in momentum as delta p1 so what is delta p1 delta p1 is mass into 5 into final velocity 0 minus 25 right 0 minus 25 what is delta p2 case 2 what is mass 5 kilogram what is final velocity 0 what is initial velocity 25 so what we get is delta p2 is also 5 into 0 minus 25 which simply gives us the value that delta p1 is equal to delta p2 or in other words impulse 1 is equal to impulse 2 right i hope this this much is clear now let us try to see the force part so what is delta p1 we know that delta p1 delta p1 is force average into delta t1 what is delta p2 force average into delta p delta t2 let us divide these two equations let us divide these two equations dividing dividing one and two or maybe you can equate one and two as well because both of them are equal what we get is force average into delta t1 by force average 2 into delta t2 is equal to delta p1 upon delta p2 but we just derived that delta p1 is equal to delta p1 is equal to delta p2 and therefore this should be equal to 1 which implies which implies that force average 1 by force average 2 is equal to delta t2 upon delta t1 what is delta t2 given the question that delta t2 is 5 seconds so this is 5 upon delta t1 is 3 seconds so this is 5 upon 3 right so we can say that force average 1 is actually equal to force average 2 into 5 by 3 which would be so we can say that force average 1 is force average 2 into 5 by 3 so what is 5 by 3 5 by 3 is say 1.6 therefore therefore it means that the force average the average force in first case is actually 1.6 times the average force in second case therefore force average 1 average force 1 is actually greater than average force 2 so the conclusion is impulse in first case is equal to impulse in second case whereas force in first case is greater than force in second case